guys, I'm not always excited anymore about new RC cars, but for this package, I'm very excited. Stay tuned. <laughs> So guys, in today's video we've got three big boxes to look at, so this is probably one of the most detailed RC cars on the market, and I'm very excited about this build. So let me get box number one. And here is the first box guys, do you know what this is? Well this is the all new killer body chassis and this is the Mercury chassis. So if you're looking for a detailed uh, RC car or a scale model, then this is probably one of the best buys that you can have. So what this is exactly? Well this is the first chassis release from killer body. Normally they will make very detailed bodies and accessories you know, but this time they gave us a complete RC car. Well th this is not a complete RC car because this is only the chassis. But let's open the box and see what's inside there everything is well labeled and everything is written down what's inside there so that's already a thumbs up so in this video we are not going to look at every small detail you know that's from for somebody else to do i'm just going to give you some highlights about this kit and then i'm going to speed, uh, speed build it and then i will come back to you with the result but let's have a closer look at some parts so here we have got some steering parts we've got some suspension parts and here you can see the leaf springs and i am always a big fan of leaf spring cars just look at those at those leaves guys yeah i really like that already so let's have a look at the wheels and tires because these look amazing and whoa they are heavy wow just look at those rims man but they are very heavy oh let me grab a skill let me show you the weight of it the wheels and tires weigh around 450 grams already so i really like that and it, they feel very very heavy and the look of those rims you know these are just amazing look at the detailed exhaust and they already colored it i really like that already so here we have got some chassis uh, parts so all the chassis is made of plastic but there are some or they have some uh, yeah metal inserts with some metal in there so we have to here is the engine and the gearbox guys just look at all the details that they have added to this one i really like this so inside here you will have a two-speed gearbox and you will have a selector of two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive so that's truly amazing so inside here you will fit a 540 motor or a 550 but if you add a 550 you can't run this uh, extra fan on there so that's a bit of, uh, of a shame but i'm going to install a brushless 540 and i've got a very nice one sitting right over there but this already looks amazing so let's have a closer look at the axles this is the front axle and even on the front axle they have added a ton of small details you know just look at the ball door joints that they've created so we've got some calipers it's a disc braking thing going on there and this little piece is for locking and unlocking the diffs and that's the same story with the rear axle so here you can see uh, a little piece for locking and unlocking the diffs and of course we've got the calipers and the disc brakes yet yeah, they have added a ton of small details to this kit so let's have a closer look at the body that i bought for this one and here is the body guys that I've chosen for this build. So this is the Toyota Land Cruiser one, but there's also a Jeep Gladiator available for this chassis. So I've chosen the Toyota, so let's open this box up and see what's inside here. And here we have another well-organized and well-packed box, so that's a thumbs up for Killer Body. So over here we will find a manual, and so the chassis didn't came with any manual, and the story is that the chassis was already ready, but the manual wasn't finished yet, so they decided to ship all the chassis without the manual, so that's a bit of a downside, but luckily the body itself came with a manual. So inside here we've got all bits and pieces to build a complete body, but I'm not going to take everything out of here, but I want to show you something else as well. And here is the last box that I have bought for this set. So this is the interior for the Toyota Land Cruiser pickup body. So inside here we've got a million of small details. And we've got even some dashboard lighting inside this kit. So I'm really looking forward to build this set. And of course I bought a light kit for the body itself. Because the car of this performance and this uh, appearance you know. Of course it should have got lights inside there. Also we are going to fit this one. So th this is the all new Dumbo RC DDF transmitter. And this thing is truly amazing. I would put the link down below to everything that I'm using so for now I'm just going to start building this kit and I will give you some uh, flashes when I'm building it but yeah we'll come back to you when everything is done so stay tuned
So guys, I'm all done building. And what do you think of the result? Well, I am totally in love with this car, you know. The body, you know, onto the chassis. The chassis is so realistic and the body is just so realistic. I am just totally in love with this model. So for this video, I had some different plans. So my plan was just to speed build it and then take it outside for a test course or a test drive. But things didn't turn out yeah, as they should with the chassis. So I want to talk about that first and I will make a separate video uh, yeah, about the driving and everything. But I need to talk about you uh, with the chassis. But let's start with the body. Building the body was straightforward. Everything fitted perfectly and I re it really enjoyed me. So there were some small things which you need to pay some extra attention to. But overall, you know, this kit came together pretty nicely and I am really loving this result. So there are a couple of things what I don't like about this body. And that is that the doors are fixed and the bomber to the hood is also fixed. So if you want to have an opening bomber to hood or doors, then you have to buy some separate pieces. And that will set you back around 30 or 40 bucks or something. And I think that's a bit of a downside. I think that killer body should have had those straight uh, yeah from the factory in the box you know because everybody wants to have an opening doors and bomber to hood if you have an engine bay or an interior inside there so that's a bit of a downside but yeah overall building this body was just very nice to do and i'm very pleased with the result so let's have a closer look at the chassis because we've got a lot of the two things to talk about and here is the chassis guys, what do you think of it? Well I am totally in love with the chassis. All the small details that they have added to it and the realism of the chassis itself. This thing is just awesome. I am just totally in love with this model. But my love for this car came at a high price. And yeah, I need to talk about a lot of things uh, Yeah, when building this chassis. So if you plan to buy this as your first car, don't do that guys. You have to have a lot of experience if you want to build the chassis you know. Otherwise, yeah, you won't finish it and that's a shame in my opinion so let's start with the manual so this car didn't came with any manual and that's a big downside in my opinion so if you want to use the manual then you have to use a, a laptop or you have to print it and that's a big downside another thing there are like a million small mistakes inside the manual and you know killer body come on man why do you do that you make an awesome car and awesome bodies and you make a manual with a lot of mistakes you know that's a big downside another thing some things they don't explain in the manual so for for example, if you want to uh, install the differential lock and everything and with the cables and the wiring, there is just no uh, clear uh, explanation of how to do that. So you need to figure out that yourself. But yeah, let me point out some other things where I had some issues with. Inside this car you will find metal gears, which is always a good thing. But inside the gearbox there was not a drop of oil or not a drop of grease. So you need to take the gearbox apart and just add some grease for yourself. Another thing which is very strange, they, they have used some grease inside the pumpkins. But the grease that they have used is just so sticky, it just looks like gum, you know. So yeah, I recommend just to take apart the pumpkins and put some of your own grease inside there. And then your drive line will be much smoother. Another issue that I had are the screws. So the screws or the hardware is just proper and these are just all fine. But inside the manual for example they will tell you to use 8mm ones right over there. But these are just too short and here you should use the 10mm. Another thing is the screw right over there. So this one isn't mounted. So in the manual it tells you to put a screw inside there. But you can't because there is nothing behind there. So that's another fault that they have made. So when installing the chassis just pay attention. Uh, yeah maybe sometimes you have have to use some longer screws or some shorter screws and yeah that's a bit of a downside in my opinion but just keep that in mind other issue I had are the tiny servos. So these are the recommended ones by Killer Body. But there's a big problem with it. And that are the mounting screws for your servo horn. So this little screw right over there. This is a very awkward size. So normally it is like a 2.0 or a 2.5. But this is a 2.3 and that's a very strange size. And I guarantee you, you won't have got any of those laying around. So why is that a problem? So, uh, well, if you want to mount the servo saver for the differential lock, it doesn't fit. So so this screw is too short and you cannot mount it and that's a big problem. And that's the same story with the tool drive forward drive system sitting right over there. The screws are just barely holding uh, yeah, the surface savers on there and yeah, I'm, I, I'm not sure it's going to work flawlessly. Another very annoying thing is the steering linkage. So the pivot ball that they have used is a 1.5 screw hole and that's too small. So every surfer horn that you will use uh, is a 2.0 so you cannot screw this one onto your surfer horn. And that's a big downside. So how do you solve that? Well, I just used a, yeah, a bolt right over there and just screwed it all the way through. But I think that's very strange to use a, yeah, a 1.5 instead of a 2.0. 
Another issue I had is with the muffler and with the exhaust pipe. So you should uh, slide the exhaust pipe onto the muffler but it doesn't fit and as you can see mine cracked and yeah why well, you know it should be able to just slide over there uh, but it doesn't and that's a big problem. On the front and the rear axle you will find these fake dampeners sitting right over there. So the fake dampeners are just constructed from two pieces. You've got like the metal piece right over there and you've got a plastic piece that slides into there. But out of the factory they were just grabbing onto each other and they couldn't move fr freely. So you have to loosen those up. Another thing which I already mentioned is the differential lock. So inside the manual you won't find any clear explanation about how to run the wires, how to secure them and how to mount everything properly. And Killabody please just make a simple uh, extra manual and just put it online of how to mount everything you know. I was able to fix it but I think a lot of other guys will struggle to mount the differential lock. So Killabody please make that. So guys that were a few issues I had building this chassis and there were a lot of more small things that you should really pay attention to when building this kit. But overall I am totally in love with the chassis and let me tell you why. Just look at it guys, I just totally like the appearance of the chassis, the realism, the small details that they have added to this car. So I am totally liking this car, but for example for a beginner, don't buy this chassis, this is just too complicated for you. But if you've got like a, a lot of building experience with cars like this, then you should definitely have this. Because the appearance of this, there's nothing else on the market that looks like this, you know. Well of course there are some, but I really like this one. So yeah, for this video that was it guys. I will just make a separate video, yeah, test driving it and test all the electronics and yeah, sort those things out, but that's for a different video. But for this video, that was it guys, thank you for watching, please subscribe to my channel, if you've got any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below, and I will see you in the next video, bye bye!